I will say there's there are some actors in there that I did not expect to see. Yeah, some uh, some people that uh, I see here there and often, but you know, not usually in big uh, movies Mar here, and they're yeah. usually side characters yeah. <laughs> for those movies. Is that? I think that's Keenan Thompson. And goodness, who is that? I forget the lady. I've seen her in a couple of comedies. Is where I usually seen her. Yeah, uh, I think so comedies. as well. Uh, but I just thought it was interesting to see that. I'm like, okay, that's going to bring a different tone to the movie, I think. Which won't be bad at all. Just saying it's going to be different. Uh, oh, I'm trying to remember exactly what I wanted to say for that particular title. But I mean, there's not much to say. It's coming out. It's had its two trailers. We all kind of got an idea of what it's going to be and how it's going to work. Yeah. It's I supposed think. to drop two episodes uh, each week instead of the one. This is what I've been hearing. I hadn't heard each week. I heard it was dropping two on the first week, but I didn't know that it was going to be each oh, week. Oh, well, maybe, maybe, yeah. Maybe well, it might be, first, it might be it, that too. To get the ball rolling. Maybe it's, uh, yeah, just the two episodes. Let's I know see. some, uh, some will do that, you know, when they premiere, they'll usually premiere the first and the second episode. But yeah, I think, I remember the boys did like the first three or something and then. Every so week that would make something. sense, you know, just to kind of get people like, you know, to be like, oh, that's it. I want some, <laughs> I want a little bit more. <laughs> no, I definitely get that. Where you're just like, all right, well, uh, I finally started watching uh, Cobra Kai. I've been wanting to watch that for the longest, and uh, finally got around to watching it. <laughs> that's cool. I know they just came out with another season. Yeah, third uh, season. Supposedly they're going. They want to go to five seasons with it. So we'll that's see cool. That'll that be goes. interesting because that'll be one of the few Netflix seasons that really, we've, as we've talked about, passes that three season benchmark. So mm -hmm. it's been pretty good though. I, I've liked the uh, the drama in it. <laughs> it kind of feels like that old Karate Kid drama that's been happening, but it, just in a modernized take. And um, it's just nice to see kind of like it's almost like that. Um, you know the Broadway show with the the witch you know where they they didn't never really get to tell that side of the witch's story right and we got we got to learn a little bit more about like what was going on with her life and like why she was the way she was it's, it's the same thing with this cobra kai we get to learn about the other kid who you know got defeated um and we get to and he's you know he's pretty much the main character but they also have they bring back uh mr larusso um and it's cool just yeah. to see him back in and kind of take his own Mr. On it, but, uh... Larusso. <laughs> it's it's pretty cool though it's it's been a really good show i've liked it so far i've liked all the actors they've chosen um they're really uh really good so far so we'll see i'm on second season so far and i think i got like five more episodes for this one and then we'll start the third one but yeah definitely check it out i would recommend if you ever uh, uh... have some free time <laughs> Right, that's the real thing is having free time. I'm tr I was trying to look up and see what the exact release stuff is going to be, but I'm not seeing anything except for that the first one will be two. There's supposed to be more than thirty minute episodes, so okay, I would guess for like cool. 40, 45 minutes, forty eight minutes. And then, go uh, for seeing other people's breakdown, it looked like there were a couple of different characters from other MCU things that are going to poke their heads in for this movie, so. That's yeah. not too bad. Yeah, um, I think the reviews have started kind of coming out yet, so I, and I haven't heard anything too bad just yet. So uh, let's see, we got any real good ones? Because I know the early review stuff would be out, but I don't think they would have any of the uh, any. You know what I mean? It's only the eleventh today. It shouldn't yeah. come out till Friday. Yeah, it's just is uh yeah from the early adopters, those guys are lucky enough to get to see it a week ahead of us. <laughs> but yeah, we'll uh we'll have to see how that turns out. I'm I'm excited for it. I I want to see kind of a different take on like the superhero genre. I now we got like I said, I like kinda, it kind of it's... gets that Legion kind of take yeah. Like I said, it's gonna be a very much more mental cerebral one from what we've seen. It does look like it has a decent amount of like the kind of comedy that Marvel is famous for. And even mm -hmm. more than that, like a comedy style befitting of the style it's making. You know what I mean? It's a comedy style in the style of an old TV show, which then when it's, you know, juxtapositioned on top of that kind of cerebral, what I'm assuming is going to be either intrigue or 
horror it's probably going to be one of those two it's either got to be like mystery intrigue or horror so kind of a thriller because yeah we know that at the end of uh we know for the most part that vision is supposed to be dead right and that these other people yeah uh so yeah i'm curious how this is gonna go because he was the soul stone and what when did I, i'm trying to remember what ended up happening to the soul stone at the end of uh, they take it back like all the others right okay at least that's so supposedly supposed to you know what i mean but yeah i'm curious they how they're gonna into... go about with that. i'm almost certain it's if it would be interesting not to with the power she's shown to have and then relating her to her other stuff. And maybe somehow they'll... I'm sure they'll tie it back in with the Infinity Gems, right? Or something. But I'd Some love way. it if they just did it like House of M style. Where she's just like... But to a more limited cool. extent. Where it's... Because it, it looked like... That's, that's kind of where I feel like they're kind of taking from just a little bit. Just a little bit. Not like... Yeah, whole, yeah. Like, not the whole thing for sure. Just a little. House of and, M. and then I think the other thing that I, it reminds me of is uh, the... What was that one again? It was not Pleasantville. But... Oh, um, I know what you're talking about. The one that was just not too long ago. It was um, the one with the cubic um, co cosmic yeah. cube or whatever. Yeah, and, where uh, it's the whole city and the yeah. That them. was that one actually wasn't too bad. That it was all right. I, I didn't mind that at all. Sorry. The 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 biggest issue of that storyline for the people who didn't like it, I think, was the whole ending with Cap. Yeah, that probably is what ruined it for everyone. And I didn't so mind I was, it though, so. I was um, reading up on that a little bit. So Nick Spencer, I guess, was the one you know that did that whole storyline with the uh, the Hydra Cap, and um, from I didn't know, but he didn't actually get to finish that um, that story. He actually really? kind of dropped mid off on it. I think, and I think it was just because of all of that the backlash <laughs> that they were getting from the, this. But the thing is. But again, I don't know if that's it for maybe. Yeah, it was I don't know whether family issues, whatever. But uh, yeah. he didn't actually get to finish telling the story. I guess of that one, which so was weird to better. see that he not weird, but like it was kind of like a, I guess a cool take back of him. I don't know if you read the new Amazing Spider-Man issue. Um, he kind of went back onto uh, Secret uh, Empire on that one. Oh no, I didn't. I didn't read the yeah, most there was, Spider-Man. Yeah, movie. once you read it, you'll you'll be like, oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that's nice. from. They talk about the scene when. Um, Wilson, Wilson Fisk kind of is optioned as mayor because of the whole. Uh, remember, they were entrapped in that big giant um, bubble, the dark realm bubble, or something yeah. like that. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, they they kind of bring that back into this. Um, you know, when you when you uh, we'll talk about a little bit more of that issue. But let me know when you read that one because the ending was not what I kind of expected for that. It kind of did a twist on us. Um, but then again, I'm not too like a hundred percent sure that it's like set in stone that this is this is how it, it's supposed to go. Maybe there's another twist still gonna hit us again. More, I, I more don't know. twists. Just just, just read it and, and see what you think. <laughs> but it was a good issue. Um, I uh, I liked it. It was way better than last issue. Um, I didn't really care for that one. That last one was not that great. It was the one with the um kind of cool all black cover with the spider-man face all in spider webs oh okay, very nice. i think it was like issue 59 maybe very nice um but yeah the this issue that just came out last week much better <laughs> um, well, that's good um, yeah i was gonna say what else was out this week we so had... i did catch up on a bunch of stuff yeah i, I nice. uh, caught up on um ghost of vengeance ghost rider Nice. Um, don't never heard of that character before. Uh, Badillo, I think is his name. Badillo, Badillo, uh, Michael Badillo, Badillo. I don't know. I I'm think I've opinions. heard of Badillo, but, I'm, <laughs> I don't think but I've uh, yeah, Michael is uh is one of the one of the ghost writers that have uh, been, and uh, he's pretty badass. I like the, his character design. So they kind of uh, brought this character back into the ghost writer tales. Um, read up on that. Read up on some Shang Chi a little bit. Caught up on issue three. Um, not too bad of a storyline. But you know what I will say about this week and the last couple weeks in general that I bolt. It's a, I like and don't don't like it. So it's weird for me to say because it it's a bolt. It's like a critic versus like a preference thing. Mm -hmm. But one of the things I really like that they're doing with King and Black is they're not flooding the titles with it. Yeah, that's good. That's what I was happy it, about. They kind of made like, their own. Yeah, there's only about two or three a week at max. And, and even then, the ones that are... I mean, you got them tied into the other ones. 
you know what I mean? yeah, a lot I'm of them fan. but not every single title that comes out like i i i read uh x factor this week and i don't think it was tied in i don't remember oh, man, it's been a minute but like i don't think the x men stuff was all too wrapped up in it for whatever reason huh, okay which seems a little off but right <laughs> Um, did you catch? No, maybe they did deal with it. um, Okay, that's right. Maybe it was. They did end up doing shit. Okay. What'd you think of that uh, last issue of crossover? That new one that just came out. Uh, it was pretty good. I liked how they did the. A lot of people were loving it. I heard the comic stores were kind of well, comic and us comic fans. It was, I guess, it was an issue for us comic fans. Really, it was was, good. It was. It it was cool because it brought in these other concepts. You know what I mean? You you showed Mm -hmm. how expansive. The actual now we're world kind of was. seeing where this is taking off a little bit. The first two issues were kind of set up still, and this one for sure, um, I could see a lot more potential. So, well, yeah, we'll see how this goes. He 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 himself has said like, I don't know what what's gonna happen with this story, but we're just gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely so interesting. He... Like I said, because it just brought in a little more of the. I still need to check this out. I wanted to read this. Have you checked out any of the new future state stuff? Uh, no, because they all look pretty bad to me. But I only checked the Harley Quinn stuff. Most of DC has not been palatable for me since the Dark Knight stuff took over heavy. Like the side stories and their personal stories don't feel very heavily written into for me a lot of the time. And it feels like they're putting so much uh, focus on the main project they're doing that anything that's not immediately part of it is just like not great, <laughs> which mm-hmm. maybe future state will be a little better because yeah. it's the main project. Something but, different. They're not having to be, but then I didn't, mostly. but I didn't think not dark Knights metal was very good either when it was coming out. No, so. I mean that one, that uh, one. Yeah. That I don't was know what they were I, doing with that, but I don't know. We'll see what, I mean, I don't read really die hard anyways, DC fans but... seem to love it. I don't know. <laughs> like, yeah. Some love it, some hate it, I guess. I don't know. I haven't really heard too much chatter about it, which is almost worse. The say stuff. I heard only people really like this one, and then I think the Wonder One, uh, Wonder Woman one was another talked uh, talked about. I want to, I want to read the Swamp Thing one, honestly. That's the one I'm that looking one forward to. Cool too. It, the cover the was Batman really one good. Cool. I don't know if you saw the the new cover for it and stuff. But it looked good. No, I haven't seen it. So let's see. They have uh, Future State, the next Batman, which is the new, uh, I think that's Lucas Luke Fox that's supposed to be Batman. It's one of the Foxes. I'm not sure which one. I can't remember. Um, and then there's Future State Flash, which I heard people were kind of not having it in that one. Yeah. Uh, so you had Future State, Superman, oh, Metropolis, Swamp yep, Thing, Harley thing, Quinn. Yeah. And then Wonder uh, Woman. And I think oh, and then Catwoman's supposed to be coming out here, too. I think in technically the Generations Shattered was also part of Future State, but it might have been a collection of something else. Yeah, we'll see what this does. Um, I mean, this is supposed to, what, bring a new kind of generation of I have some no type of clue heroes? what they're doing here. Like, I mean, they did add what you would call it from Teen Titans. That's a plus. <laughs> the the villain, the Robin villain. What's his name again? I, it Red wasn't Sly, but it was Red. There we go, Red yeah. X. That was they a character did that. that That's Harley Quinn too. They do that shit all the time. But that's cool. There's tons of that. characters where I they did are, like they Red do X, that. Though. I like he him, my... but he wasn't like. We'll see stand how they... out is like Harley Quinn was for me. There's certain characters that I I like from the shows that I feel like they should have bring into the uh, comics. Like sometimes, Batman Beyond, that was do. another one, right? That one was never a comic character, and that no, one was, I don't uh, think it was, yeah. went from animated to comic. Which Batman Beyond is one of my one of my favorites. Always still is. I enjoy it, um, but it was very uh, edgy. Yeah, it I was, liked it. It was, it was it was not too, like '90s, 2000s edge lord. Mm-hmm. That was the the whole style. What I will say is, I think they did a good job in like in restructuring everything to like that future tech. Like, all right, you got all these enemies of Batman, but now you got new enemies. So instead of the Joker, it was the fucking Rip, whatever. I don't know the, the gesture. Well, then they had that, and they had the Joker gang that was just like always hanging about yeah. and causing the ruckus, which was but, cool. Uh, but- I guess in a certain way, but for me, it was always like, well, the Joker always had a gang. They just weren't everywhere. But it was, they were more, I guess, like a, I guess like a cult at that point. Yeah, they were, they were definitely like crazies. Although I would argue if you mm, worked for them before, (laughs) you probably fucking crazy or stupid. One of the two. Um, 
but uh, yeah, so I mean, uh, we'll we'll see how Future State does. I only picked up Harley Quinn because I was like, eh, it's two issues. I'm a fan of Harley, yeah. and I only I really like that Derek Chu cover. It so, looks good. I mean, I like the like, the way the Future but... State stuff looks. It looks just fine as far as art. I'm just not excited yet about the characters and once again the thing is that could all change with one book all it takes is a good story a good yeah. intro like to make a character endearing but dc does not always prove to do that for me like i often find myself like struggling to to work my way through books on their side so i mean it's not that there aren't those on marvel as well like the eternal stuff this week wasn't all that great but oh i didn't get to check that out just it was all right it wasn't bad it just didn't feel great Let's see here. Granted, maybe it would have been better if... Uh, oh, shit. Sorry. If I'd have gone through the <laughs> Eternals, uh, the other book they read released on it, because they released two this week, but I thought one was more of a, like, collection of something. Yeah, the Marvel Tales one. Yeah, those are more of a collection. Just to kind of catch you up on more of what's going on in that... Uh, yeah, and I already that know... That realm is really... Yeah, and I already basically know a decent amount about the Eternals. Just oh. from reading a bunch of Thanos crap. <laughs> um, let's see here. Oh, this is some of the new stuff I read right here on the corner over here. This is what I was looking for. Yes, this is the one that I read that I was kind of excited for and I was happy let's about see. reading. Oh, cool. How did that one look? Ooh. I actually liked it. It was good. I am uh, I'm excited for, you know, I know Marvel or Marvel. Uh, I know Star Wars did all like, you know, their backstory with all their other stuff long before, you know, these comics, but it, you know, it's good that um, now they're kind of like, you know, setting um, a better timeline because things were all over the place. I mean, the they, were, and, they were up and down. Uh, they mostly stuck to it was the thing. Like there were a couple uh, on new years, but no more so than there are right now. Yeah. Um, like the Grogu they, stuff. <sighs> Well, so yeah, we'll have to see how each... that's going to go on. Have, because, you, have um... you seen the meme, though, where it's like Marge and, and Barton is just like, no, I haven't seen Baby that. Yoda. And then, yeah, and then Luke shows up and saves Baby Yoda. <laughs> so then that means Kylo Ren kills him. What? We well, established already in the, the new trilogy that Kylo Ren kills all of the students of Skywalker. He's like. Here's a show about Boba Fett. It's just like, <laughs> just little shit, all right? They, they always have something. And that's not to say that I, now Legends was better. I'll, I'll say that without even hesitating right now. Until they get some better stories into the, into the universe, the Legends mm -hmm. canon shit was way better. Well, um, they're, they kind of did the timeline now, finally. So they nice. fixed it. Um, so agent. here at the top, yep, it starts with there, and then it starts with the fall of the Jedi. Well, the High Republic first is first right now, and then after that, then it's the fall of the Jedi, and then the reign of the Empire. Yeah, see, this is all afterwards the, too. Stuff. And then we go into the age of the Re uh, rebellion. Then we go into the new uh, rebellion. Then it. Oh, and what's cool is they put the Mandalorian right there, and then they put the Bad Batch and the Solo Star Wars story to kind of let you know where everything's at. Um, and then right here, yeah, we have the end of the first, the rise of the first order kind of stuff. I find it funny that they have the stuff prepared so it can go up and down, but they don't have it there. Where so yeah, they they got the timeline for now. Finally, a Star Wars timeline in their in their universe at least now. The yeah, the Disney. I'm Marvel glad they have universe. it. You should definitely um, take a look at some of the Legend timeline stuff though. It's really well laid out. Uh, yeah, I'll check some of that stuff out too. Um, so yeah, I was excited to check that out. You should check it out too. This is kind of like at the age of Jedi that are just really like high on the pedestal right now, and uh, they're really not worried about the Sith or anything like that. Um, and they're kind of like noble kind of Jedi Knights a little bit. They're like you know the the noble kind of race of them. So it's it's different. Mm. You and then you get to check like you check their their lightsabers even look more like elegant and more you know like they have money <laughs> basically because they're nobles and higher in power and um they're not just building these like rinky dinky little things that you know all the, at the end so it's really cool to check out um i thought the lightsabers are cool um i'm excited for to kind of see where the story goes and i do like the main uh jedi that's in here i forget her name um let me see here and i'll probably say it wrong anyways because i am bad with uh jedi names and it's a uh, can uh canary maybe canary i don't know 
It's uh, spelled K A N R double I. Hmm. Don't, so don't that's her name. That. So she'll be. Uh, she's pretty cool so far. We'll. Still, we'll uh, I'm excited to see kind of where this goes. So we'll see if they do a pretty good job. And I know they did come out with some novels as well. Uh, the same time that this comic book came out, we do get to see Yoda in here. So we know Yoda's freaking old. Oh well, we knew we knew Yoda. <laughs> we was knew old, he's old, but it's just like I think wow, he's like ten thousand years old or some shit. He's mm-hmm. old. So it's cool to see him in here, just to be like, oh, there we go. So that's probably the only familiar face in this whole comic book. But everyone else in here is brand new Jedi Knights. Oh uh, no, only nine hundred years old. So it's pretty cool to check out. Um, so we'll far. see. Like I said, how it goes. Um, I'm excited to see kind of where the story is going to go. So we'll, we'll uh, continue to keep reading that. I know they have another, uh, I think it's a companion issue, but it's supposed to be with IDW, and it's like one of those Star Wars adventure books ones. Mm, so I, I don't know if that one's going to be as serious or it's going to be kind of like a kiddish kind of book. I don't know. Right. Um, so then we have that one. That was I was excited to read that. I finally checked out that second coming. The second yeah, it was pretty interesting, it. and I, I liked it. It was it. pretty good. Yeah. I actually enjoyed that one too, just to kind of give that origin story of his um, parents a little bit. So yeah, cool. it was. Yeah, I read. It. I was like, yeah, it's it, it was it was very. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It was. Parody. It was kind of a. It's yeah, very it's parody. Like, it's kind of parody on us as well too. Because yeah. it's like I hope wherever he's going that they have it better figured out than us. Mm, no. <laughs> well, we didn't blow uh, up. How about that? Make it yet? Yeah. It's like, oh uh, no. It's but... like, of course we're gonna blow up. We have mined all the diamonds. <laughs> oh, planet's gonna explode, bitch! I can't stop it. Did we have to have dinner with those ass? <laughs> right. <laughs> He's like, why do we have everything so much made out of diamonds? <laughs> Everything's made out of diamonds. It's like oh the my whole God. thing is dumb as hell. I loved it, but it was so fucking it was good. stupid. It was um, good. The other one I did read from DC that was pretty interesting was Truth and Justice. I don't know if it was necessarily great, but it was in- it's interesting because it's uh I don't know if it's future state, but it's a digital first title. Oh, okay. It's and, one of those ones. Yeah, and it's about an all African group of superheroes in Africa. So it's interesting. Oh, okay. Just, That's hmm. yeah, different. It's only got Let's see. one right now, I think, but it, it wasn't bad. I like the art. The characters seem okay, and it, it had a bit of a kind of '90s flow to it. I guess you could say the nice. story storyline felt like a '90s cartoon, which I like '90s nice. cartoons. Spider-Man this other book shit. I uh, read too as well, and this one I think uh, they said sold out on uh, at Diamond. So I don't know. You should maybe check it out. It's kind of like a maybe a kiddish book because it's got their Boombox uh, the last logo witch. on there. But uh, Boombox is kind of like I think they're more kind of kiddish books. But they're you know honestly this is still pretty good. I liked it. It was enjoyable. Um, it's uh I, I really like the artwork in it. As you say, it's, it had uh, a nice yeah. cover. So that's always yeah. It's good. Kind of, like I said, it's kind of got like a soft tone to it, but it's still it's a. Uh, I kind of like it still. It's uh We'll see how it goes. Um, here's kind of some. Huh. So yeah, not too bad. I liked I it. It was a cool little style that reminds me of a little story here. Um, so there's that I checked out. I know I checked out Venom, the newest issue of Venom. Yeah. That one wasn't too bad. I think that one was talking about um, what was this one? Oh yeah, this one. This one wasn't too bad. This is kind of like him ro- roaming free through the hive mind. Like I guess his his soul, not his soul, but his his um mm-hmm. with the astro astro projection self of him that's running it, free it, within the hive other. mind. <laughs> his other whatever. <laughs> but uh, right, it was you. cool. It was cool to see this and. Um, and see uh Rex Strickland Rex Strickland back on the on the book too. He was a pretty cool character. I liked him. I liked him um, I wish, I wish we could have gotten more of that there, character. Yeah. But uh I, I see that he's only kind of was just there though. I liked Rex better bit. as after we learned he wasn't a dude. <laughs> <laughs> he is a better so, symbiote than a person. So there was that uh, crossover, which you said you checked out already. Uh over, yeah. Uh, there were a couple other things. I can't remember if it was this week or last week, but they had Rick and Morty presents jaguar which, oh yeah that one came out too. yeah That's which right. was the character voiced by uh danny trejo nice oh he did do the voice that's right that's yeah. right i remember now 
Yeah, this is that new issue of Spider-Man, which ends is finally ends the uh, last remains uh, post-mortem arc. Finally, uh, again, this issue I liked a lot better than last uh, last month's issue. That was, <laughs> that was... <laughs> this month much better. So, um, did you check out the? Uh, did you check out the new Norse mythology that had come out? No, I haven't checked that out. So, have you been reading that one now, huh? Yeah, it's. It's all right. It's pretty good. It's all right. I mean, it's just a. Uh, it's kind of like. Um, it's just mostly the, and, real Norse stories. That's about it. Yeah. A little bit, but then it's got kind of like Neil Gaiman's little. I mean, he's little... got his style, but most of them are just straight pulled out of Norse storybook, like the so there's Siegfried those ones. hair stuff one. Uh... But it's supposed to be on his novel, these comic books, because it was a novel he did first for those ones, and then I guess he decided to do a comic book for it. Um. But yeah, there's that one I checked out. Did you read the uh, Valkyries just yet? The Return of the Valkyries? Uh, no, I haven't read that one yet in specific. I still got to oh, check it out because it has a bunch of Sentry stuff in it. Yeah, this is the one where, yeah, she uh, she takes Sentry uh, to um, Valhalla. And um, we kind of learn a little bit, a couple other things. She ends up finding another person while on her journey to the to the pretty gates <laughs> nice. so uh there's that one which explains yeah duh the return of the valkyrie so of course she's gonna bring somebody along with her how's she gonna bring it so uh that one was pretty good i like that story it wasn't too bad um i did check out number thor 11 that one was actually pretty good that's the i don't know if you checked oh, yeah. that one where um yeah. Donald Blake and uh, Jane Foster were having the conversation at dinner yeah it was an interesting one they don't really explain it very well don't explain a lot of it very well, which is why I'm not a big fan of this arc so far. So far, this has been the weak, the weak portion of this Thor run. For me, at least. Let's see here. What is the end? Of? Oh yeah, I like the ending to this one. This uh, with um, Lockjaw and uh, that was pretty decent. Uh, frog. <laughs> that was <laughs> that was decent only because I like uh, the Avengers pets, but. <laughs> But otherwise, so, the writing for these last couple chapters have, has been leaving a little bit lacking for me. And then, oh yeah, I finally, finally checked out my Department of Truth issue four. Finally. Oh, nice. You kids, you checked so, it out then. Right. Yeah, that was the one with the journalists, and uh, yeah. that ending was brutal. But I, I, you know, it made sense, and it it's just good. It's good to. It's a good book. I'm still am really enjoying this uh, conspiracy kind of theory book, and. Uh, it's just a really weird kind of different con. Of course, you, you know it's comic book. It's the only things you can come up with in the comic book. <laughs> you'll never probably see this on a TV. Well, maybe now you'll see it on a TV show. Right now, that's been something. in a comic book first. <laughs> <laughs> There's always got to go yeah. through the comic books first. We we're the we checkers. <laughs> we tested it out first. I can't wait to read this book though, huh? Oh, well, that one does look good. The the guy who does uh, Ice Cream Man. Oh, all right. This is going to be his new book, and that thing, that thing blew up, Ice Cream Man. I wish I would have, I, you know, and I, I remember looking in the uh, solicitations, and I remember seeing that book, and I was like, this sounds interesting, but at the time, I just didn't put it on my pull list, and I should have, because it, yeah, that that book is a good book. Sorry, I man. like the, I like the last one that they did. Um, they did a, uh, a Doctor Seuss, uh, one. Let me see if I can find it. Oh yeah, it's right here. Yeah, they did a. The, each story is just pretty cool. Like you know, you don't have to read issue one. I mean, because they're all kind of their own. They're like a one of those uh, creep show kind of, or not creep show, but the tales from the crypt kind of comic books a little bit. Um, but these are cool. They did these uh, uh, local comic shop day oh, wow. covers. So I thought these are really funny, and they literally had like maybe three different covers of this one because it was so popular. These Doctor Seuss books. I bet. Um, but the inside is what is really was what like makes it count. <laughs> so you, you yeah you get like those little kind of Dr. Seuss little kind of scenes there and then um, let's see if we can move forward a little bit. Oh yeah, and then here's a different one. But then also kind of giving us that serious tone still at the beginning. Right. <laughs> The Mr. Ice Cream Man. So, yeah, I, I heard this is supposed to be coming a show here soon. So we'll see how uh, fast that happens, though. But uh, for sure, I would love to see Ice Cream Man as a show. I think it uh, do wonderful. And 
all the people that uh I talk to you all the time at the comic shop through it's one of their favorite books and saying that they wish they would have hopped on it too when it first came out too. But uh yeah, uh other than that, I think that's pretty much all I all I caught up. I did catch up on some older stuff, but like that's old stuff. I mean we probably want to talk about more of the new stuff that came out. Um yeah, that's pretty much it. Just that right now so far. So I have to see what else I gotta catch up on. Um yeah, we'll see what's next week. Um, what's supposed to be exciting next week? I can't even remember. Let's uh, see. Oh, geez. There's really not. I mean, next week in comics, there's a bunch of movies. There oh, yeah. Sorry, I meant to say in uh, comics. There's a. Um, oh, haha, actually. <laughs> now that we're talking about it, comes out tomorrow. Uh, uh, next week or this week coming out. Nice. Um, there's another book, too, from um, A.W. Shot. They're a new um, publishing company that came out last year. They've been mm-hmm. putting out some really good books. A lot of people have been liking it. They put out Bad Mother, um, which is kind of like The Punisher, <laughs> but it's with the mom. Um, and then they have another book called Year Zero, um, another one called Resistance. Uh, they, they, put, they put out some big hits out there, and yeah, people have been loving the books that they've come out. So, oh, another one called The Devil's Highway, which I've wanted to check out. Looks pretty good, but uh, they're more like a serious kind of tone publisher, so they don't do like really kiddish books or anything like colorful or anything like that. It's more serious tone <laughs> over there. Um, so yeah, the Erratic was a pretty good book that they came out with. Maybe you should check out sometime. They're only on issue two on that one. Um, but it looks like the King and Black Planet of the Symbiotes comes out this week. Nice. Uh, we got the King and Black Gwenum versus Carnage coming out. Uh, Let's see what else here. That's kind of like big name. Oh, the Kingdom Black Thunderbolts will come out. Yeah, there's a lot of them next week, huh? That's a little um, rough. Red after Mother. I just, after I was oh. just giving him a compliment, too. No, there's a lot more. Yeah, they have another one like uh, Kingdom Black Black Panther, Kingdom Black Captain America. Those, but uh, those can't all be next week. No, not next week, but oh. those ones are. Yeah, that's fine if they're out. coming. It's just like they got it. Keep them spread <laughs> out. Tone it down. Tone um, it down. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue number three, um, which kind of relaunched at a number one, will be coming out here soon. Uh, Red Mother issue twelve. Uh, Amazing Spider Man supposedly is supposed to be coming out fifty seven next week or this week. Uh, Immortal Hulk forty two will be coming out, and the Union issue two. There's probably a couple more. I'm just not seeing on my list here, but those are the ones that are on my pool list, at least. <laughs> nice. Uh, let's see. What did I mostly read this week? Uh, I mostly tried to get through some of the other side stuff in Marvel. Modoc, Juggernaut, Hellions, The Eternals, uh, X-Factor. Just the stuff I've been reading. And then, of course, Thor, which was pretty good, I thought. But once again, I just... Where? Why? <laughs> no uh... logic on some of it like some of it makes sense and they explained it okay and then some of it is just like well how does he even know that well let's see here i don't think i had anything else on my list wow it's kind of a short week isn't it That's yeah weird. it's well we talked about this month was going to be a fairly slow month in general yeah, even with like comics uh, i mean comics kind of not so standing there was a decent amount of comics this week but everything else TV shows, movies. I mean, WandaVision being our only exception to the movie thing. But yeah. Right. Yeah, we'll have to. I'm excited to check out. Yeah, WandaVision. I can't wait. It's this Friday, right? I won't yeah. Be it's the 15th. I'm definitely going to be checking that out and adding that to my Friday, especially since Mando's off. You know, it's definitely a good time to slot that yeah. in. Yeah. So. This. Oh, uh, yeah. I definitely got to check out those Marvel uh, Legends. Um... A show that they have on it's kind of like a recap of like the yeah i had seen some of them they were pretty interesting the the other thing that disney had released was a bunch of like shorts for like little disney movies like monsters and shit Mm -hmm. i don't know if you'd seen those those are pretty decent yeah i'll check the yeah we've seen a couple of them they're the shirts are really good some of them are really cute and nice i I like them so i think we'll we'll always watch those i think because they're smaller they got a lot of effort put into them you know what i mean there's a lot of work goes into them uh but yeah Besides that, I don't really have anything else. If you don't, I think we're pretty set for the week. Yeah, I'm just going over my list here. Uh, finally got to check out Attack on Titan. Oh, episode nice. Episode one What'd you for think? season four. You know, it was epic. 
it was pretty <laughs> epic. It was good. It was a good episode to start the season off. Nice. Um, we got to see some brand, brand, brand new characters that basically we've never seen ever. Yeah. And uh, it was nice to kind of just see the other side now of uh, where the Titans kind of started from and coming from. And uh, so it's cool to see kind of that that end and see where kind of like we're all there's like you know different beasts you know because we haven't seen them all and um if we got to see a couple more you know be more badass than kind of like the dumb <laughs> kind of walking around <laughs> <over me and everything. laughs> yeah so it was, it was cool to see some like kind of badass titans doing some badass things and stuff i did like the, the scene where like like dropped them yeah it's just like titans, drop them Ooh. I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's how you end a, a city. <laughs> it was interesting, off. which is so funny to cool. me because it's just like, that's going to just as easily been bombs. It's just easier because they get bigger. <laughs> yeah, so it's cool. It's a good little first episode. I have to I have to see and uh, watch the dubs because my son and me watch it together. So okay. um, I know they're probably, I think they're like on episode four or five right now. They're doing pretty the decent. I'm still waiting for the more chapters to come out. I usually wait a couple chapters, two or three before I go forward. Well, I heard uh, he's about to end it as well now. That's all yeah. I'm he's pretty damn about. close. Like I said, it'll probably end right almost exactly at the same time with the anime because nice. you're not that far behind, honestly. From the no, yeah, it, no, it's we... so lit, like close that it's not even funny. Uh, and uh, having said that, I haven't watched the most recent episodes, so I'd have to see where exactly they got to. Yeah, we're um we're right where because we're basically where Aaron and the whole group ha- know now of the secret of yeah you've gone Elgin, past the Elgin's time skip and... basically yep yep we're uh, basically at the time skip now we just started there at the time skip basically yeah. but we haven't seen Mikasa and all them just yet we have only seen new characters right now so far but, yeah um maybe in episode three or four we'll pro- we'll finally see that group and I'm curious mm. to see how long this season's gonna be. Um, because there was rumors of it like gonna be like they said they parts. were gonna split it into two parts at least, but okay. Once so... again, I unless they're really taking it slow, which I don't think they are, based on which I'm hearing from you, it's it it's not gonna get them more than ten or eleven episodes of content. I don't know how they're gonna split it into more than yeah. one or two we'll parts. See what the hands up happen in but, there. But that's you know they they can stretch it and make it work, I guess. Uh, yeah. And once um, again, the, it's rough because for me this for me not that part in particular but this whole section as a total is from the manga is maybe one of my least favorite parts of the manga it was one of the ones that i felt like had a lot of errors in it Hmm, whereas whereas earlier portions i felt like were really well done from the story writing aspect this particular section has some interesting stuff that you'll see as you get farther okay yeah, we'll definitely have to see how it's going to go. Um, last thing I guess I wanted to talk about was Black Clover finally uh, started back. Yeah. Their first episode. They did a time skip, heard... too. Yes, they did. They did a... I think and, Asta uh, looks awful. What? And Asta, Asta looks cool. I was he, like, looks, Woo! he looks awful, is what he looks like. Well, he, 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 was... he looks like a fucking eight year old that took steroids. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> So yeah, there's that, and uh, but it's to be, it to was, be fair, uh, the art in that series is always up and down, so I can't yeah. say shit about. Well, it. they're uh, they were the number one trending thing for a little bit on. Oh uh, yeah, I mean it's a popular series for sure, but yeah, so is Naruto and uh, Bleach and all these other long running. Oh, Bleach is supposed to be coming back soon too. Yeah, their, for one uh, of its weakest arcs as well. Well, they brought today, it back for the last just, arc, and it's. It's one of the weakest arcs out of all the arcs. Well, we'll see if maybe they may change it. You know, there's I know cool not stuff in it. Is. There's, yeah, that I don't is, know but... how they could change it to make it stronger. I'm sure they could, but it's the it's the design of the arc that is bad. The the truth That's... being that they should have ended the whole series after Eisen in the first place, but that they didn't do that, and they decided yeah. to keep going. So I wanted to keep going with it. Um, and then I guess the last few things is HBO Max had a few um, movies added to their their uh, list here. Um, I finally got to check out the Weathering With You movie, um, Ride Your Wave, uh, The Kingdom of Dreams and Madness. I don't think uh, I've never heard of any of these. Man, uh, Hayao Miyazaki. That one um, these are pretty. Uh, they were pretty popular in Japan. So I, uh, nice. The Weathering With You was also a pretty popular one. Um, 
the night is short walk on girl and the last one is called um Pramar? Premier? I can't remember. I've seen it before. I actually, uh, I've seen some trailers of it, and that one looked pretty cool. Kind of reminded me of like uh, Gurren Logan and kind of like Digimon kind mm. of artwork. Nice. Um, but I wasn't too sure what the story was about. <laughs> yeah, I have no clue. Uh, I don't think I've heard of pro, most oh, of pro, those uh, Promare. Promare, I guess is what the, the show's called or the movie. Um, but we'll check it. Like I said, it's got that Gurren login and it's even like, it's got giant robots. So it's definitely got that Gurren login kind of feel. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to check that one out too. Maybe tonight we'll see. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, I always like to watch those different kind of art styles. Yeah. See how they play out. But other than that, that's pretty much it. I didn't really have anything else on my, uh, my list here. Nice. Going back over it now. Yeah, nothing here. I know Hasbro released a um, new Marvel Legends uh, figure, which was the She-Hulk. Oh, nice. Yeah, they finally they're doing that for her uh, yeah, TV show they, coming or something. They probably do. Um, also, too, a lot of people have been requesting this version of her because the last one they did was like a gray version of her, um, which I'm pretty sure they did that because of the comic that was going on at that time. I mean, which I get, but that's like the only gray version of her they've ever made. I yeah, mean, you so go they with a classic. So they did that, and then uh, they repainted her basically now to be that green version of her now. Um, Wait, I think but is it still at least a, as well. is it at least a different thing, or is it the same character just green? Uh, it's the same character. That's how they always do Hasbro. They usually retool or they repaint or they. Um, it, it, it costs sometimes a lot to to resculpt some things. There is some new sculpting. Well, I know her. that's why it it's would just, be worth uh, it. Why wouldn't I just repaint that bitch? Oh, <laughs> do you know what I mean? People, no, yeah, I know, but that. then what's the point <laughs> if you yeah. don't make a new sculpture? You're not really giving them anything worth buying new. You're just changing a color, which once again would be probably, I don't, especially at the price for a figure like that, would be cheaper to straight go fucking paint it yourself because those be. those those figures can sometimes range up there well these ones are just 20 dollar figures that's not bad legends. yeah marvel I'm... legends are never that expensive here unless you get like the deluxe figures where they come with like the bike or something extra yeah. <laughs> like squirrel girl uh, you can get her with like her scooter she comes with her little squirrels so i can buy a squirrel girl and burn <laughs> it I was, I was actually gonna buy it today because it was on clearance and a lot of us marvel legend guys are like well i did it guys i didn't want it but i bought it they, <laughs> they, they got me to buy a squirrel girl. <laughs> and i was like yeah for 15 bucks from what it used to be like i think probably i think it was like a 35 almost 40 dollar toy and uh it's almost 15 bucks like yeah i guess i'll buy it. i'll just a lot of people are like i just bought it for the scooters and the squirrels <laughs> so yeah well uh that's pretty much it though from toy news I, I know just hasbro released their their new um she hulk that was pretty much it and uh, she looks pretty cool i think they did give her a new head sculpt she's got like a pretty cool mean face and then she's got like a nice like uh, kissy face. <laughs> uh, but yeah, other than that, I think that's off my list. I'm just going over here and see if I have anything else, but I can't see anything else. Did you check out the Marvel uh, Alien uh, variants? Uh, no, I haven't checked that one out yet. Yeah, you should just check some of them out. There's some cool ones. My favorite one has to probably be the Captain Marvel one they're doing, and then the Fantastic Four one, which is a homage to the first issue of Fantastic uh, Four. Nice. It's the one where uh, it's Mole Man, and he's coming breaking up through the ground, and then it's like them all fighting him. Um, instead of Mole Man, it's the, the Alien Queen. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. I, I'm definitely picking up all those ones. Uh, oh, I guess one news that we can say is... Uh, so they did confirm that uh, Deadpool 3 is going to be R-rated, and it's going to be coming to the MCU. Nice. That's cool. I wonder how I'm they're going to do that tie-in. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Um, I wonder, too, like, once they add them into, like, the more kind of kid-friendly Avenger movies, will they have to kind of... Not... Tone it down, I wonder right? If, yeah, yeah, tone it down, but I, I would love if they kind of played on that, you know? I think like, he's... Deadpool... I just don't think he'll fit well into the main dynamic. He we'll doesn't. See. He I'm... doesn't in the main comics. He doesn't go into main comic issues. No. He stops in. 
Or yeah, a that's what I'm trying to see. Maybe, maybe yeah. they'll do something I, like that. Maybe I he'll be just like a cameo his... that just yeah, shows he, up. He shows up, <laughs> he shows up for two minutes and leaves. That's Otherwise, it would be wrong. He, he doesn't do that in the main series. I couldn't name you a main running like group series with the exception of one of the Avengers Unity teams where he was a consistent character mm-hmm. to that level. Like, Oh, the, oh yeah, X-Men. the Avengers. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he was, he was on that one, guy. but they changed his whole character to do that. They literally yeah, changed was, his whole a bit more serious and then oh he went on a whole redemption when, arc for that thing it was yeah and then when scotty young came in he's like let's just memory wipe everything and he just yeah. started from the <laughs> which was a very lazy honestly like way to do that but it works so, i guess and then uh, i guess the last few things is umbrella academy season three they unveiled the sparrow academy cast one of them is called a telekinetic cube named christopher <laughs> So we'll see how that goes. That's going to be interesting. Um, Indeed. And then uh, Lucasfilm Games now has been branded under the new uh, game banner now. So that's going to be their new banner. Um, let's see here. What's going on with my last stuff here? If I find anything good. I don't think that was it, though. I think that's pretty much it. Unless there's anything you had on your list here. Uh no, I don't think there was anything else. Um not that came to the top of my head. <laughs> Gary Oak is coming back to Pokemon Adventures. <laughs> oh yeah, because everybody cared about Gary. I like that rivalry. Not <laughs> just <laughs> Um yeah, we'll check that out. So that is gonna be I, I've been watching Pokemon Adventures with my son. That one's been okay. That's all right. Never been that big of. I was a big fan back in the day, but I never really grew up with it too much, like to love it still as much as I, as other people do still. Uh, yep, that's it. I got I got nothing else. I'm I'm fresh out of stuff. <laughs> For sure. Uh, like I said, I don't think I got anything else. So if that's it, we'll probably just end the episode here. All right, sounds good. Alrighty, well, thanks everybody who came in and stopped by or stayed in to comment, and we'll catch you next week on Comic Combos. If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect, and we can always improve. So please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month.